EU foreign affairs ministers have agreed to fully suspend a 2007 visa agreement with Russia, making it more difficult for Russians to visit the bloc. It falls short of the outright ban called for by some countries like the Baltics, Poland and Finland, but individual countries can now go further and refuse all visas if they see fit. EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell says Russians can no longer come to Europe for leisure while Ukrainians suffer. We have seen many Russians travelling for leisure and shopping as if no war was raging in Ukraine. Member state considered that uh, we are not business as usual. It cannot be business as usual. An outright ban is not on the table because several member states argued that Russian dissidents or those fleeing persecution should have the ability to seek sanctuary in the EU. However, it's unclear if this visa ban will send a strong message to average Russians about the war waged by their government. It's one more measure uh, that you would hope would have some impact. But we have to realise that the media landscape in Russia is so completely dominated by the Putin regime that for a great many people will only receive their news from channels like Russia One, for example, and that is a blatantly propagandistic outfit and people receive all kinds of misinformation every day. Younger people, I think, are more likely to know the truth. But, you know, the simple reality is that uh, from the beginning of this conflict, we have seen very, very few Russians prepared to stand up. Foreign Affairs Minister has also confirmed it won't recognise Russian passports coming from occupied territories in Ukraine and would also review existing Russian visas. Shona Murray, Euronews, Brussels.